Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdo. In the previous video, we have seen about the volume creation and all those things. So let's try to see in this video how we can create the container with a read only volume. So that means we have we will be having a volume that is nothing but Docker. What we will be having a volume Docker volume ls and this is the volume which we are having and if you try to check the docker container ps hyphen a or ps so we don't have any container right normally if you try to create the container docker or otherwise let's try to see docker container ps hyphen a oh yeah we are having two containers let's try to delete these two things docker container rm hyphen f nginx hyphen container and the nginx hyphen container 2 so i am trying to delete these two containers normally when you try to create a container with the volume so for example let's say that um, docker container uh, run hyphen d uh, hyphen hyphen name nginx hyphen container okay nginx hyphen container and if you want you can give the port hyphen p 8090 and it should be listening to the port 80 and the volume is nginx hyphen data when we nginx hyphen data and it should be resulting uh, pointing to the user slash nginx okay i think the html will be there i think i didn't remember exactly and um, that's it so we will be giving the volume that's it so now we have created the container right now what i will try to do it is so if you try to check this container in the outside so if you try to check this container outside and there is nothing but 192.168.0.12 13 sorry 13 so you'll be able to see the nginx 1890 okay maybe my wrong mistake i think something i have did it let's try to check the volume docker sorry uh, cd slash where slash lib slash docker and slash in sorry slash volumes and uh, you will be having another one there is nothing but let's try to see it why it is not coming sudo slash volumes let's go into this one test one two three four it is trying to tell shell, shell is not able to find what is that one sudo i for i will try to check it again mm, cd slash where slash lib slash docker okay slash volumes slash nginx data underscore data okay and if you try to check it okay directly we are having this one so let's try to delete this container the docker container rm hyphen f and i will try to delete uh, nginx hyphen container let's try to delete it now we'll see the same command i will use it for creation of this container sorry let's try to go to the home page yeah so the same command i will try to do it uh, where is the docker container create docker container run hyphen d hyphen hyphen name nginx hyphen container and hyphen port 80 90 colon 280 and we need to give the volume there is nothing but nginx hyphen data which should be targeting here this is the problem we have created previously share nginx slash html and the image is this one so fine now if you try to see the output for this one immediately you will be able to see welcome to the docker volume data now this one is coming directly from the volume now if i try to edit this one so here i can go docker container um, exec hyphen ti <coughs> nginx hyphen container and i want to log in with the bash that's it now if i log in with the bash now i am in the root and if you try to go cd slash user slash share and cd nginx slash html okay and if you try to change the data here so let's say that uh, vi index.html so here vi cannot be found why because we are in the container it's a basic thing so here i can do echo hello leela from container volume something like this i am giving and this should be added in the index.html okay so i have added it now if you try to see the output for this one see if i refresh this page see hello leela from the container volume so that means automatically through the container we are able to change the i will try to show you so through the container we are able to change the 
mm, that is nothing but the volume data so here docker and what is that one volumes nginx data and in this one underscore data and if you try to check here we are able to see cat index.html if you try to see see hello lila from container volume that means this data has been changed when you are trying to change it from the container this should not happen that means the container when you try to create a container the data it should be read only only so that means the container should have should not have the permissions to manipulate the volume data so if you want to create the containers as a read only container means then what you need to do it is docker container rm f nginx hyphen container i am deleting this one so fine so here i will be creating docker container run hyphen d hyphen hyphen name nginx hyphen container i am creating the same thing nginx hyphen container and i will put map p 8090 to 80 and i will be having a volume that is nothing but nginx hyphen data and it should be targeted to user slash share slash nginx slash html and here you need to mention it as a colon ro that means read only and then you need to give the nginx that's it so container has been created now when i try to log in into this container docker container sorry docker container exec hyphen ti and you will be giving the nginx hyphen container and i will try to go into the bash and now you will be able to see we are when we went into the bash and here if i try to do it echo sorry let's go into the cd slash user slash share slash nginx slash html i am going into the here and if i want to do echo echo sorry echo modify data and we need to write it in the index.html i am trying to write it here so now you will be able to see that it is a read only file system so that means i cannot able to modify the data so that means whatever the volume we are having here so we know we cannot able to read it uh, we cannot able to modify it so that is how we will be trying to do it so this is how we can create a read only file system so outside you will be able to see it but here inside you cannot able to see but now if you want to change the data means what you need to do it is docker volume sorry we need to give exit here and here you need to go to cd slash var slash lib slash docker slash volume slash nginx hyphen data slash underscore data okay and you need to go here and you will be having via index.html and here you need to change it so here you can write it something like this and you can save it and if you try to check the output for this one automatically the output will be changed so like this you need to change now the container is a read only whereas if you want to change the volume data means then volume level you need to change it fine so this one is done now what i want to do it is so the next one is what i want to do in this for example if the volume is not there so right now we are having a volume right so if you're not having a volume means then how can i uh, if i want to create a container if the volume which is not existing so we can create it docker container run hyphen d hyphen hyphen name nginx hyphen demo and hyphen p it will be targeted 1990 colon 80 if you want you can do it and here i am giving a volume and here demo data i am giving demo data and it should be targeted slash user slash share slash nginx slash html and i will be giving the image nginx so here the demo data is the volume that it doesn't exist if i try to give hyphen v to this one automatically it will try to check whether the volume is there or not if the volume is not there means it will try to create the volume and then afterwards it will create the container now if you try to see here we are able to container has been created if you try to check docker volume ls sorry docker volume ls now if you try to see here demo data and nginx data and here demo data has been created now if i want to delete the volume demo data but the container is existing if i want to delete it means docker volume rm demo data if i want to delete this one means it will tell you that volume is in use and you will be able to see like this so how can i able to see that how many containers are there for this one means so in the docker volume inspect you will be having the inspect you can do the inspecting but here you will be not able to see the data according to me so here you will be able not able to see the data which container is having the this volume 
so if you want to check it means so what you need to do it is so you need to use docker container inspect so container inspect and uh, nginx hyphen demo right nginx hyphen demo i think so yeah so now here you will be able to see the mount okay here you will be able to see the mount and demo data and read write true you will be able to see the read write true here and this is the target which we are having so like this we can able to see okay and if i delete this container docker docker container rm hyphen f nginx hyphen container and also nginx hyphen demo if i try to delete this one automatically the containers will be deleted now we are having the volumes right volume ls and if you want to delete this volumes means so you can delete it directly docker volume prune you can use the prune here so that means whatever the unused volumes are there so whatever the volumes that are not used by any of the container means then those things will be deleted it will ask you that it will be removing uh, if the volume is not used by at least one container yes and automatically it has been deleted and reclaimed space is the zero bytes now if you try to check uh, docker volume ls uh, still it is there i don't know why it is so maybe we are using it for docker container ps a so we are not using it right docker volume okay yes and it will try to delete it yes so, or otherwise i'll try to docker volume rm um, nginx hyphen data i will try to delete it so it has been deleted i don't know why so maybe so docker volume ls normally it will be deleted and here if you want to delete means so docker volume rm and this one also you can be deleted previously it used to tell that that the container the daemon cannot able to delete it a container is using it has shown it right but right now it has been deleted so this is all about the volume thing and if you try to use the hyphen hyphen mount option then how the container will be created or the volume will be created let's try to see it in the next video hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you